Hi guys, Rich Rob here. Welcome to Sim Saturday. This week I'm going to be talking about all the information from the live broadcast that happened on June 18th, which focused on Sims 3 Island Paradise expansion pack and also The Sims 4. And then once I've covered all the information, I'll be announcing the winner of the Dragon Valley giveaway. Please excuse me, I'm absolutely full of cold. The show must go on. The most recent live broadcast was awesome as always and if you want to go watch it please click the link in the description and you can go watch the whole thing. But this is just to save you guys some time if you don't have time to watch the whole thing. So they showed us that we can customise mermaid tail slash leg colour and bra, seashell bra if it's a mermaid not a merman and um, you can do that actually in create a sim. So you can actually create a mermaid but you can go back and edit the colour of your mermaid's tail once you have one. There's also a game update which is out now which features a lot of free stuff that you would associate with Island Paradise like the ladders um, which save a lot of space so make sure you get that update if you haven't already. It's also got the stilt building as well so that's amazing. There's a new buffet table which gives your sim the capability to go back for more and to have multiple plates which is something we've never had before. There was a speedboat with a zebra patterned interior, amazing. Evil mermaids can summon sharks with a shell. You can get in a fight with a cave monster. And the messages in a bottle within Sims 3 Island Paradise are all unique. You can claim the uncharted islands. You can own multiple lots. They showed, they showed this poor little sim going out on his swan paddle boat, which I am in awe of and I can't wait to get one. And he was actually attacked by the Kraken. Now, I didn't realise that you could do that in a swan paddle boat and it was quite close to the shore as well. It wasn't like way out in the middle of nowhere. So be careful of that Kraken. And he actually did survive that. So it's not like necessarily death. Kids can drive aqua sleds and speed boats, not entirely sure if that's safe. And level 10 lifeguard career, you will get an uncharted island slash resort that was mentioned. There is a new cheat to unlock all the islands if you are extremely impatient and don't want to play it that way. They also mentioned water skiing behind a speed boat. Now, if you want to get up to date on all the information, there's not much time now until Island Paradise comes out. But if you want to get up to date on all the information so far, please check out any of my videos on this channel and my gaming channel and you'll learn absolutely lots. But I'm not going to repeat myself in this video, um, I'm just going to tell you what happened in the broadcast. Just to go back to that game update, um, if you haven't got it already, it's going to give you the still stilted foundation, it's going to give you the ability to build on land and partially on water and it, you're going to be able to buy and sell private lots and there's also heaps more stuff you get with that game update as well. They then went on to introduce us to Mr Albert Trong who is the lead concept artist for The Sims 4 and he showed us a pretty awesome concept sketch and they're also doing a giveaway so you might want to go check out the broadcast rerun for that. And then they announced that Sims 4 will be at the EA press conference at Gamescom which is running from the 21st to the 25th, although SimGuru Ryan did say that EA would be doing the press conference on the 20th, so I'm not exactly sure of the exact day. I know a lot of articles online are saying the 21st, with it being the first day, but um, I have no idea. So, um, yeah, but they will be at Gamescom, full stop. And they did say that they will show us what The Sims will look like and how they will interact with each other and heaps more, hopefully. So yeah, that's going to be amazing. Gamescom is not far away now. So hugely excited to see more about that. The next live broadcast for The Sims 3 will be on July 9th, 10am PDT. So make sure you are online then to watch that and as usual I'll be covering it on the following Saturday. And now, on to the winner of the Dragon Valley giveaway. Thank you to all of you who entered. So let's go to me on random.org and draw the winner. 
Hi guys, so here we are. Got all your names in this uh, little Excel sheet here. Shush, please. Okay, so there's 122 entries here, so you have a 1 in 122 chance of winning, but don't let that put you off. If you win this, you're an extremely lucky person. So here we are on uh, random.org, and let's get the sequence. Oh, this confuses me so much. Every time I do it, it confuses me. And then we just copy this sequence here, paste it in here. Correct. So we're just going to select all of you here and then we're going to sort smallest to largest and the winner is Unboxing and Reviews. Congratulations Unboxing and Reviews. Um, let's just go and see what your comment was. There you are. Unboxing and Reviews. Congratulations, you've won Dragon Valley. Please inbox me to claim your prize. Congratulations to the winner, and thank you so much to all who entered. There'll be another giveaway coming soon. There always will be. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I just passed 9,000 subscribers this week. So thank you for subbing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share it with your friends and enemies, uh, comment below with all your thoughts on anything I've mentioned today, any questions you have, any advice you would like to give. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.